Hello everyone, it is Wednesday, October the 10th, 2018, about 3.15 in the afternoon. And on my last video, I was just finishing up uh, doing my touristy stuff out in Ohio in Kentucky. Last thing was the Ark Encounter with my parents. Today, I am on my way to finish my trip out to Indiana for the Cover Bridge Festival. But uh, on my way there, I wanted to stop at uh, the Goat Milk Stuff Farm. Um, this is a place that I stopped at and took the tour. I was very impressed with it. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'm going to link it in the description. But really, I am just here today to try something else on their menu. As part of the farm, they do have a diner with a very good menu and uh, desserts. So I am starving. I haven't had anything since early this morning. I think this will be a really good place to eat lunch. The uh, place hasn't changed much except for it seems like they're uh, working hard on expanding it. Wish them all the success in the world. This is one awesome family business. They call it the sweet shop. I'll probably get some cheese while I'm here too. Now because I'm getting here at 3.15, the lunch counter has already closed. It closes at 2. But uh, I was able to get some of their sourdough bread from over there and uh, some cheese from this counter over here. I'm going with, uh, there's the sourdough bread. I'm going with the uh, sun-dried tomato cheddar uh, spreadable goat cheese. And I've made a sandwich out of the two of them. So I'm going to have that and uh, the pasteurized chocolate goat milk. And um, then probably going to go with the goat milk gelato right afterwards. So let's see how this tastes. I don't know what all the spices are that they put on the top of this bread, but it's really adding to the sandwich. This is delicious. Now the goat milk, or the chocolate goat milk. You know, normally goat milk has got a very distinct flavor to it, but I think the chocolate's actually covering it up. It is good though. It's very delicious. Alright, dessert time. I think I'm going to get a spiced pecan coffee cookie. Long name. Going with one scoop of orange cream, uh, one of the strawberry, and one of the butter pecan. Difference is you get to choose the flavors, but only it's not just vanilla chocolate and strawberry. First, let's try the gelato. It's got a very zesty flavor to it, but it's not distinctly goat milk. If you hadn't told me that was goat milk in there, I wouldn't have known it. No. <laughs> Can I actually taste the coffee in this? It's more ginger than coffee. Once again, there is their information for any of you wanting to uh, to order some some soap or some cheese. I think they've they're working it out where you can order the cheese by mail because we're reaching the cold season. Well, it's 7:30 now, and I've arrived in Bridgeton. For the Cover Bridge Festival. One of the first festivals that I covered on this channel one year ago. And there's where my booth normally is. Right over there. Let's uh, see what kind of situation we got going on now. They left an open spot for me. It's amazing, there's already so many people already set up. Yeah, because they said there was going to be a little log cabin out there. They were putting it there. They were going to move me somewhere else, but close. Close by. So there, there's that log cabin they said they were going to have. I'm not sure where, I think I'm going to be like right beside it. Well guys, it is now the next day, Thursday, October the 11th, 2018. It's about 12.30 in the afternoon, and uh, I'm finally getting myself up to go set up. Today's just the setup day. Uh, spent most of the morning just kind of relaxing, playing 
Breath of the Wild. It was nice to be able to sit back and relax for a few hours. But it is time to to get busy. Now, uh, you guys might remember this was one of the first festivals that I covered on this channel a year ago. The Cover Bridge Festival. One of my favorites. And you can just kind of see by the, the homey look of everything. If I could give this festival a big hug, I would. It really feels like feels like coming home every time, every year when I come to this festival. But enough of the mushy stuff. Let's go ahead and start getting set up. And just like that, it's all set up. Ready to open up early tomorrow morning. Well, it's about 5 o'clock now, and I figure it's about time for me to go over to where the other artist was last year and see if he came back. I'm about to turn the corner now. Okay, well, if he came back, he's not in the same place. Or, well, there's these two cones here. No, that's for the front of the food truck, little, little food truck here. So if he did come back, it's not in the same place. All right, so let's go check and see if the other guy that was here two years ago is here. I'll check his spot. Well, <laughs> no. No, he's not here this year. Not only is he not here, but also the couple of years since the last time he was here, the spot he was at has now got like two, even two and a half large booths kind of tetris in to the open spot that he had back then. Things have grown and he hasn't come back. It looks like I've got this festival this year to myself, the only caricaturist. That's as far as I know so far. There could be one that came in and set up in a different place I just don't know about yet. That is possible. I guess I'll find out tomorrow when I do my walk around then. Well, it is about 9 o'clock the next morning, Friday, October the 12th, 2018, and people are already getting here, and I'm actually open. Kind of on time, but uh, look at this. This is my view right out the back of my booth. Getting a little closer, I'll let you see what the all that, that steam is coming from. There you have it. That's the, uh, the water rolling over the top of the dam. Early morning, early morning fog like that out here in, in beautiful Indiana. Just like they did last year on the first day, they are supplying square donuts and coffee for the vendors. Now this, this is a way to keep the vendors coming back right here yeah they're even supplying pumpkin spice creamers the crazy crepe ladies are over here laughing at me already <laughs> okay now begins the first nom 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 shot of what will be many shots like it throughout the Cover Bridge Festival 2018. <laughs> They're just laughing away over here. <laughs> it's about 5 o'clock now, getting close to close up time. Normally we close at 6, but it started raining, has it stopped for the past two hours, and the temperature has dropped. As you can see, a lot of people have already closed up. But uh, I actually can't complain. Today was pretty good as far as uh, money-wise. First Friday of a 10-day festival. I can't complain. Uh, and also, having all this free time has allowed me to finally get caught up on my editing. So I'm about to go on in town and upload this vlog and the previous one. And at that point, you guys will finally be completely caught up to where I'm at right now. So... That feels pretty good. Uh, if you like this, please don't forget to hit that like button. Leave comments and questions and suggestions. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell icon so you'll become part of the notification squad. And uh, look forward to seeing you guys 
in the next video.